question, like how, how do I get out of the linear to the vertical? Um, in the back of the text of A Course in Miracles, he's got uh, rules for decision. And basically the first two rules, you know, are, you know, if I will make, if I make no decision, the first, the first one is decide the kind of day that you want. Very, very practical. Just decide the kind of day that you want. And then the second one, the rules for decision is, if I make no decisions by myself, this is the day that will be given me. If I stay with the Lord, if I want a happy day and I stay with the Lord, I'll get a happy day. Guaranteed. But, if I rebel and want to have autonomous decisions and make all kinds of egoic decisions by myself, you're heading for trouble. Emotionally, you're not going to have a happy day. <laughs> it's, going, it's going in the other direction. He's got three, four, five, six, seven. He's got other ways to come back after you've gone off the beam, so to speak. He's like saying, stay on the beam. In fact, you know, Jesus always emphasized in the Bible the first two commandments. You know, he was really emphasizing the first two commandments. You don't hear him talking a lot about the rest of the Ten Commandments. You know, love the Lord thy God with all your heart, soul, and might, and love thy neighbor as thyself. That's what he was focusing on, was love. And he focuses on these first two rules for decision. He even says, you know, it's easier to have a happy day. It's easier to be in the flow if you just can stay with the first two. The others, three, four, five, six, and seven, or is your, if you're off the beam, he says, it's much harder to get back. You know, so he's telling us right away, you've got to really be focused and tuned in. So, the, you know, you really have to desire this. If you have a desire for the vertical, if you have a desire for that alignment, that desire is so powerful in the mind that you'll start to draw people to you, relationships, books, movies, music, all kinds of things that will help you, that will be, it'll be like angels coming at you from every angle because you desire it. And, and one of the most difficult things is just, <coughs> things are so accustomed, when we're used to just following our past learning, we get into ruts of just, you know, just like that Beatles song, uh, Paul McCartney, do, 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 do. it's just another day, do, 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 do. it's just another day. You know, the whole song is about just the repetitive, monotonous kind of daily life that we go through, or we're just marching along based on our past conditioning. Recently we had an experience where um, we did a retreat in Brussels, and then we were on the way to the airport in the morning, and and they told us, you know, the, the traffic as you go towards that south, towards that part of town can be very, very heavy, so we better leave hours in advance. So we left hours in advance, we got on the highway, the traffic got, we were in the, the inside lane, you know, right over by the guardrail, and the traffic got slower and slower and slower, and then it turned from slow traffic into a parking lot. We just sat there, and the clock just went zoom, as we were just watching, nothing was moving. It was just sit there, sit there, sit there. And then we're getting closer and closer to the time the plane's supposed to take off. And we're just sitting there. The traffic is not moving. People are getting out of their cars, going like this. Was, you know, we're just sitting in there. People are getting out of their cars. And then finally, um, I was just sitting there in the front seat, just kind of looking around. I really had no investment whether the, I get on the plane or not. You know, it's the moment is the moment. It, it's always perfect. You know, it's just this is what the script is. So I'm just, but I'm looking over three lanes of traffic, and I'm seeing that people are getting off the highway and driving on the grass. <laughs> they're, they're leaving the pavement, parking lot, central lane parking lot, and then another one over there, and then. I'm looking over there, and I can see between these giant semi-trucks, these huge trucks, people are driving on the grass. I said, look at that, they're, they're flying by at high speeds over there on the grass. So the woman, Armel, who was driving, she was sitting next to me, I said, yeah, I said, all we have to do is get out on the grass, because <laughs> we're not moving at all. So she said, I'd like to go between those two trucks and this and this, I really would. And then, within like a few minutes, the parking lot 
creeped ever just ever so slightly. The big semi trucks opened up, and a, and a gap, a crack appeared. To and she went zoop and zoop, and she got us all the way on the outside, and it started to move a little bit, and off we went onto an exit ramp. Now, we had to continue going this way, and then we could see the highway where we had to go to the airport. It was all a parking lot. It was just all, no movement whatsoever. So we got there to the ramp, and she says, you know, this is, we go up on this ramp, this is going the opposite direction of the airport. I said, yes, go for it. <laughs> so we go zipping off with parking lot, with highways jammed and everything, completely opposite of the direction of the airport, with my glee leading the way. Go for it. Just go drive. And the, the French GPS was, you know, I don't know French, but it was telling us quite a lot. Are you making a wrong turn? Or, or you turn around at the next turn, you know, as polite as it can be, as the GPS was going really, a lot of French coming at us. Because I'm, I'm directing now, I'm the GPS, I'm the God, uh, trans, you know, system, positioning system, God positioning system, where now we're, we've gone, to, because, you know, it's just the mode, it's based on the past, it's based on the, you know, on the maps and everything. We're driving the exact opposite of the airport at high speeds, and then we're looking, and I said, look, there's, and then it says, downtown Brussels. I said, yes, she's like, yes, so she takes us into downtown Brussels, all these little narrow streets, we're moving, we're moving. I guess I was getting a little sightseeing tour of Brussels. I had never seen Brussels. So we go through all these different angles, little teeny streets, we're moving, moving, moving around here, and the GPS was still hollering at us, and we go around, we go around, we go around. Then it starts, it, the GPS always was trying to draw us back to the major highways. You know, that's what it does. So we go like this, we go, come across, and we go back, and it's still drawing us. So finally, it starts to bring us back to the major highway, and as we were approaching the highway, I was saying, this is the time, I said to everybody in the car, this is the time to forgive, just let go of everything that you think you saw, think you know, and everything, this and this. <laughs> so we got up to the highway, which is the highway that's going to go over to the airport, and the cars are <laughs> zipping along at high speeds. We hopped on the highway, woo, we zipped along, we zoomed over there, we got there just, just on time, we were there on time, because in the end, we had to go the opposite way and go for a tour through downtown Brussels and then come out and however, it's, that's what, that's quantum. That's the ego's going, uh, I don't like that story at all. It's like the place was a parking lot, there was no way out. I had you, you were trapped, you were gonna miss the plane, you're supposed to stress out about future thoughts. Okay, we're gonna miss the plane, what are we going to do? How are we going to handle missing the plane? And all these different, you know, it always wants to scare us with tragedy in the future, based on our memories of tragedy in the past. And it's a closed system, and yet when we start to follow the spirit, that's where we get inspired. But it could take the form of going in the other direction of what you logically would think, which we did. We, we went flying in the opposite direction of the airport, and it worked out perfectly.